Japani flower, land on a grave. Some time ago, a wealthy merchant from Sambas has passed away. You, Zaku, let's go home before it gets dark. I still have to go back to the garden. All right, Darnawa. I suddenly remember when we were kids. We often used to walk around here. But Brother Muzaka was busy hunting birds instead. Then he showed them to Dad. Oh, Dad really acknowledges my greatness. He actually treated the bird. What? What is that? A sparrow. Ah, oh, so pitiful. It seems it was shot by a hunter. We might as well burn it. That's enough for lunch. Don't zack you. We should take care of it. It's pitiful. Every creature has the right to live freely. Ah, oh, it's up to you. You're just like Dad. You're too busy dealing with trivial matters like that. No wonder you're still poor like this. That's just how Dharmawan is. He enjoys sharing with others. The inheritance nice. from his father. He donates a portion to those in need. Until his wealth is nearly gone. Leaving behind a small garden. This is in stark contrast to Muzaka. He's very stingy. What? After returning from the grave earlier, Darmawan took care of the sparrow with great care and affection. Good job. The sparrow seemed scared at first. However, it slowly began to trust Darmawan. Well, I hope the medicine I made works. Can heal you soon, little sparrow. Days on end, Darmawan cared for the sparrow. That is, until it eventually recovered. Come on, little sparrow. You can do it. How wonderful to see it flying again. Okay, it's time to go back to the garden. Oh, little sparrow, why did you come back? What is this? Are you giving me something? Watermelon seeds. Ah, thank you. To me for giving me watermelon seeds. Thank you. Thank you, Sparrow. I will plant them for you. Dharmawan, planting the watermelon seeds given by the Sparrow. Well, it's done. I just need to water it. Hopefully, this watermelon will grow. Hey, what are you doing, Darmawan? Muzaka brother. Muzaka brother. Remember the sparrow we found before? It gave me watermelon seeds as a thank you gift. Ha <laughs> ha! That bird is so cute. It turns out you still have time for that. Rather than wasting your time on that, you should help me collect the debts from the villagers. They owe me money, but they can't pay. Watermelon. 
I didn't expect it to bear fruit this quickly. I just planted it yesterday. The fruit has grown big already. He cut the watermelon in half. When he saw the inside of the watermelon, ah, oh, this watermelon is filled with oh gold and jewelry. Wow! How is that possible? Dharmawan was grateful for all the gold and the jewelry he found. He sold some to exchange for staple goods and shared it with the villagers. Meanwhile... Hey, Grandmother. You look happy today. If you're happy... It means you can pay your debt. I'm you, Zaka. I just received rice from your brother, Darmawa. Darmawa. Does he really have rice to share? It's hard enough for him to eat for himself. He said he got gold from the watermelon. Sparrow! I don't know. I don't understand Sparrow. what he means either. I need to confirm this with Dharmawan. Upon arriving at Dharmawan's house... Dharmawan... He also New told Zachar his brother about the sparrow about the and the watermelon seed. Oh, I don't believe it myself, brother. But that's the reality. Hee <laughs> hee, sparrow ya. The next day... Muzaka tried to find the sparrow. He wanted to do so. The same thing as Damawa. There it is, the sparrow. Hi, hi. Wait, sparrow. We will meet soon. Hold on, it hurts. Because after that, I will help you. Muzaka successfully aimed at the sparrow. Oh no! Muzaka then helped the bird. He did exactly what Dharmawan did. Dharmawan, in return. He also received watermelon seeds. Not long after. The seeds turned into a very huh. large watermelon. Oh, this watermelon is huge. I will be even richer soon. Muzaka hurriedly cut the watermelon open. But instead of gold, it was filled with small animals. Poisonous ones that came out of the water. Why is it like this? Oh my god. Help! Help me! <laughs> 